Good morning from the ranch. It is Sunday, September 12th, about 7 a.m. or so. Sun's starting to peek up over the trees over there. Uh, yesterday, I should have put the video back on because we had an incident. We was over there mowing uh, with a rotary cutter. And we had an incident. We, we were about almost done. And I was mowing this area where I knew there was some, you know, a little bit of trash in there, but I knew where it was at. And, but uh, what had happened over there was, and I'll describe it because it was all wedged up in here. Got wedged up in here. I should have took a video or at least a photo to prove what happened. But um, I was mowing these tall weeds. You know, that whole place had weeds on it. They're extremely tall and that's what's all over the deck now. And my allergies are terrible because of it. But. And I heard this like big clunk noise, boom, boom, clunk, 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 crap, right? What happened, I guess I caught a piece of metal, like a spring with an arm and everything else on it, something off of, I don't know what it was off of, but it got up through here and that was the clunk, 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 clunk. And again, it made it down here and got wedged. And it was like pushing in my tire, one of the bent arms was and everything. I was like, oh no, how am I gonna get this out? So it was an ordeal to get it out. Uh, I called my wife to bring over my truck and uh, you can see some of the damage it did here still. It's got some of the wires, it's a little bit funky. That's not good. But um, so what I do is I lowered this down, loosened this a little bit and then I had to do is get us right in here. There's a bar that was sticking into the tire, but it's bent. Then the other piece was bent this way. And so what I did is I got the sawzall with a metal blade on it and, and cut it, but it was so wedged in there, it kept pushing back. I mean, you know, trying to grab the blade. So then I come on the other side, cut V's in it. And I cut V's this way and I cut V's. And finally, able to get it to where I was cut through it, but it was still holding on. And so what I had to do is get my mini sledge with a uh, uh, one of the drop pins, hitch pins, and hammer through that till it finally popped out able to get everything out this huge piece of metal oh my gosh it was a mess uh, i thought i i thought i was gonna have a major problem i, I would have but not had what's that right there had not had that thing let's try this loose but uh there's a there's a uh a uh deal underneath there and it's not even tied on anything but anyway but yeah, so we got that off. Thank goodness, because that was, and it didn't puncture the tire. At least that tire's holding air, so we'll check that air. We'll check it here in a minute, just to make sure. But, uh, so yeah, so we're done. Well, I'm done on that field. I'm not going back. I mean, um, I got almost all of it done. There's one section there, but there's too much junk. So, I'm still gonna charge the full amount because it's not my responsibility to go pick up all your trash. When you hire me and you say the field is okay, everything's good to go, mow everywhere, I expect that means everything's clean. And as we saw, there was trash everywhere in that place. There was metal, there was wheels, tires. And uh, you know, I gotta sharpen my blades now on this mower after all that junk. Um, was it worth the money I'm gonna make? No. Uh, so it won't be a field I will uh, brush hog again, I can tell you that. Uh, anyway, so you know, you learn, you learn from those things, right? So, anyway, September 12th. So, what we got going on today is we're gonna go bell hay a little bit later. So, we have to rake and bell. So, we're gonna be raking and bell, and bell is over there inside the tractor. But first, uh, what I'm gonna do is we still gotta put liquid feed out. But first, we're gonna fill up the IBC tote here with water and uh, go water trees because we're gonna hook up uh, um, pallet forks. We need to go water trees. Uh, we still don't have no rain yet. I've got some couple of chances coming tomorrow, Tuesday and Wednesday. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but there's small chances and it's all dependent on a uh, on tropical storms on the coast. Uh, with outbound overflows coming this way, so I don't, you know, those are hit and miss. Whether or not they make it all the way up here. 
I mean, it says like 50% chance, 30% chance. I'm like, okay. Uh, then you go look at the hourly breakdown on weather bug and it shows like 10% here and there. That's not very good chances if you ask me. But, uh, so we're gonna go water trees today. Then we'll put liquid feed out. And about the time we get in there, oh, then we gotta wash the tractor off. We got, uh, sorry, I'm making a lot of noise here. Get this water, sir. We gotta wash the tractor. I will just wash off the water hose. Uh, Cause I got pollen all over that thing. Weed pollen is unbelievable amounts. It's getting where I was getting hard to see out of the front windshield. There's so much pollen on the front. Anyway, so we got water started. Then you go down and feed the bull. Uh, I don't know where the cows. I guess they already head to the trees. I don't know. They're not touching. I put two bells out there. They, they ate one all the way down. They didn't touch the other one really. I thought those bells came off the same place. Uh, maybe not. Maybe they're two separate places. Mona might have had too much weed. It's weeds in it right now for them to eat when there's still some grass out. So uh, I think before we go, we'll put out liquid feed here after we get the water done. And then we might go ahead and put another bell out uh, just to help these cows out a little bit. Uh, I don't, I don't want my cows getting all, all, uh, you know, itchy to jump fences or whatever. Mine won't jump fences, but I don't want them pressuring the fences and stuff. But, uh, yeah, we'll do that. It's a beautiful morning. It's mid sixties out right now. I think we're going to be up to about 91, 92 today. Still low humidity for now. I think the humidity will probably kick in tonight or tomorrow morning when the the tropical system hits the coast or whatever and it starts pushing uh, air up this way and we still got a lot of weed eating to do so I need to go bail and then maybe move hay today I might do it tomorrow I don't like doing it same day sometimes but uh, yeah so we're gonna here we're gonna feed the bull get him fed up and uh, let's get busy we got we got a lot of things to do so uh, we'll come back to you here in a minute. Okay, so we got the bull fed. Sun's up. Uh, picked up some farm fresh eggs while I was back there. And I lost another pin underneath there. Probably going to that ditch over there. Jeez. <sighs> Tried to lose the whole mower. Uh, but anyway, so we don't have to worry about that place no more. We're gonna do it again, I know that. Um, you can see all that pollen in the windshield there. Oh my gosh, this stuff's bad. Lots of pollen. Screens are full. I need to get my tools back out of here, put them back over in the truck. So uh, we'll do that. And then we'll come back. Um, after we get all this uh, moved out, I'll, I'll come back here in a minute. And uh, we'll go and hook the mower. We're going to put it back, back there. And uh, then we'll come and pallet fork. And I might need weight on the rear. Because I'm going to get that look of feet out. And it's going to be heavy. So, I don't know. I might. Yeah. So, we'll try. I'm trying to think. If I want to use a hay bale spear, maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out here in a minute. Come back in a second. Okay, we're in the tractor. I'm gonna go and hook some stuff. I'm gonna hook the mower. And see, this windshield is covered in pollen, weed pollen. Not good for my allergies. I'm gonna go drop this. Okay, we've done a lot since uh, the last that video on. So I got all the trees watered back there. And I should have put this on when I was unloading it. Uh, IBC told with liquid feed, but I already got it unloaded. And I got the hose on there. I actually bought uh, another adapter 
put on this one. Uh, so what I'm going to do is make a different one for that water tote. You got to use like a, a hose, like a water hose or something, like a three quarter water hose, something like that. And uh, the reason why is I want to be able to put that in the back of the truck, just drive out there with a the tote, and use a water hose, just walk down the line, you know, do about a third of them at a time, you know, one time, and then move up a little more, do the rest, or, or heck, park in the middle, do them all, I don't know. We'll figure that out. But uh, I have to get some more adapters. I bought another banjo, uh, a couple of banjo adapters for it. So you do the snap on, and if I need to convert it from a two inch down to, I think I got a two inch male coming off. So I need to convert that down to a, uh, a three quarter male. So I have to go to the uh, hardware store. I checked over there where I was at the farm store yesterday. They didn't have the adapters I needed. So what I'm thinking is probably go to Home Depot or somewhere and get it. That way I know I have a wide selection and I can get it today if I decide I want to go do it today. But that's where we are. Cows are coming up and drinking water out of the, out of the little lake, the pond over here. And uh, we'll go put this liquor feed out and maybe grab breakfast and put a couple of bells out. I can see where the best place to put the tank. So let's pull up a little bit. Lift a little bit. Level out. Lift some more. Level out. I think we're right about there. We're pretty good. Level a little bit more. Dump, dump it. So let's go dump, put feet in. So all we gotta do, these things are pretty cool. Cows lick them. Get the feet off. We'll uh, open this up, put gravity to its work. I'm gonna leave it all the way in there though. Really good yuck on the end. There's a cow right there. This is the one I said it's got a calf on it right now. He's nursing a calf. We got a couple more coming up. They want to know what I'm putting out. So we got hay out for them too. They're not eating that hay, but they're starting to eat it now though. They ate that bell down to the ground. But they need some protein though. To really help out with this. This system, this works very good. We used to pull a trailer over here. We used to always go over there and grab one of their trailers that was full. We went over here and pump it out in here using a pump and everything. But usually I'd have to go and hook that from my truck, connect the tractor up, bring it over here, and then take and do the exact same thing going the other way and take it back to them. Well, that, that takes time. You know, that's about an hour, well, maybe an hour and a half there, you know, when you talk about going there and back. Thank you for doing it. And uh, so uh, there we go. The, the good stuff. Look at that. Woo. Yeah. Woo, smells good. Smells like lots of money. Let's see how much we can get in here. They want to put some of the bull too, so. I gotta find him a tub real quick here in a minute. There's Queen. Always loud. It's always been that way. He had a cow show to do that. We got some beef. There's. Coming up here. There's Cece, she's our key maintainer gal. That black one's her daughter from, I don't 
year and a half ago, I guess, now. And then uh, she's got a new cap on her somewhere out there. Maybe they just figured it out. Oh, there they go. They love this stuff. And it loves them. Look what they've been needing. The good protein. I mean, they can smell this stuff a long ways away. Yeah, we got, uh, once we get uh, cooler weather, we get the working pen cleaned up a little bit. Uh, we'll get in here and, uh, and get these ant cattle worked. I really need to bring some fly spray out here and spray them down. See the flies are out pretty good. This cow should be calving pretty soon. Here in a couple of weeks probably. I'm missing one. I don't see her yet. She was real close. No, she wasn't real close. She's still a little ways away. They're all over there still. I got this one here is close. Let's see what she looks like. She has great udder, great milk in her because all the calves drank off her. There's the other one that's closest over there that's trying to turn around. Oh yeah, she's real close. That's the original one. Ah. She's like, I don't know how old she is. She's pretty old. So. Uh, uh, turn us off. We're gonna get some for the bull. Uh, we still got quite a bit in there. We need a whole lot for them. This is getting up there though. If I don't get any for the bull, it's okay. We I mean, need to be in fed right now, but it is getting full. Gotta watch. It's gonna fill up on this side first. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let me put this over here so I can grab this. I'm pretty sure I left it in there too far. Maybe not, not too bad. She's real, real close. Uh, this one's real close here. So yeah, we got a couple. She's one that has some hoof rot. We might give her another shot. I went up there one day. She was laying down and put a halter on her, and squeezed it in her, put the injection in her. Not a vaccine, but a uh, uh, antibiotics. She's doing better now. Here comes a couple more. A little steer calf. That's a uh, ribeye. Uh, we're waiting for a pack of beef. And let's see here. I don't know who else is back. Those two. Those two. I'm missing one. And she's really up here. Maybe she had a calf. Where's your calf at? I gotta find something. I have to find a tub for the bull. Let me go start doing that. There's the other heifer. The heifer's gonna be having a calf right here behind me now. She's up here. Yeah. 
Connor, in the way. I don't want to hit you. Get out of the way. Move. This thing will cut you, man. You know?
I'm hungry. And poor weirdo. He doesn't mind living live it too long. Being a young bull. He definitely wanted to run himself down, chasing cows, running from fence to fence to fence to defend his prop, try to defend his property from other bulls. Chasing bulls, because we have bulls getting over here. So, uh, somebody behind me can get squished right now. So, yeah, he ran down pretty hard on us. I mean, he is young. Young bulls will do that. But, uh, we haven't really fed him a lot either. That's the thing. So, we're going to feed him, get him really in good shape, get him looking like a bull again. And, uh, and we'll take them, get them collected later. It might be a couple more months. I know when I'm in good shape when he goes there. Of course, this black pepper is following me because she knows I'm going out the gate along with her crew. The whole crew is one out today. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna put a bell hay out and then we're still gonna take that back off get the hay rake hooked up go rake hay and then come back bell hay that's the plan we'll see y'all in a little bit <laughs> 